In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the multi-user waiver flow in Caliber Perk. If you are running a perk job that generates a large number of results, it may be beneficial to split up the workload of dispositioning those results to multiple designers. Using the multi-user waiver flow requires that your output results database be set up correctly. You can do this either in your Caliber World deck or if you are using Caliber Interactive by enabling the multiple user waiving setting in the outputs page. When using the perk multi-user waiver workflow, multiple designers evaluate the results from a perk run. After evaluating the results, the designers each generate a Delta waivers file. When all of the results have been evaluated, one designer can then take all the Delta waivers files and generate a final results waiver file to be used in the next perk run. I will demonstrate how this flow works from the perspective of one designer. I have loaded a multi-user waiver enabled perk results database into Caliber RVE. In the multi-user waiver flow, there are three result states, pending, reviewed, and waived. Pending is the default state and indicates the result has not been looked at. Waived means the result has been checked and found not to be a real issue. Reviewed means the violation has been looked at by the designer and determined to be a real issue. I'm going to mark all of the results for cell C1 as waived and generate a Delta waivers file. Violations for the remaining cells are the responsibility of other designers. When exporting the waiver description file, I need to set the waiver export type to Delta. I've reloaded my results database and will now merge the waiver file I previously created with two additional Delta waiver files. After merging, you can see the results for cell C1, which I previously waived, are marked as waived, along with the results for cells C5 and C6. The results for cells C2, 3, and 4 have been marked reviewed, which indicates that another designer has reviewed these results and determined that they are real. The results for the top cell are not marked as waived or reviewed. This tells me that no one has looked at these violations. For this example, I'm going to ignore this and move on to generating the final waiver file. When I export the waiver description file, I need to set the waiver export type to full. Now that I have the final waiver file, I can rerun perk using the waiver file as an input. When RVE opens, I can see the results for cells C1, C5, and C6 remain waived. The violations which were previously marked as reviewed have reverted to the pending state since these are real non-waived violations. In this video, I've shown you how to use the perk multi-user waiver workflow to speed up your perk debugging by dividing the workload across multiple designers. My name is Matt Lagaki with Caliber Interfaces. Thanks for watching.